Hi, Pete. Hi, You're back again. Yeah, I'm back again. What are you cooking today? Today I'm doing a, a traditional Dublin coddle, but with a bit of a twist. Because coddle was a very a poor man's dinner. Back, uh, back in the 18th century, people had no food, and this is what they usually had. So I'm going to give it a little bit more flavour than your normal coddle. All right. So it's really a Dublin coddle. So the first thing I'm going to do is... I'm gonna, the sausages, about 10, That's very deep. simple. Right, all right. Throw them in. Okay. Very simple. Bacon, streaky bacon is better flavor. So okay. Put them in. All right. And here I have carrots. Carrots is not normally in your ordinary um, cuddle, but we have actually had more money now, so we're gonna put a little bit more right. in. And the big carrots give it a bit of a flavour. Then is potatoes. So that's sausages, streaky rashes, carrots, potatoes. Potatoes, yeah. Do you put onions in? Uh, yes, I'm going to do that next. All right. About three onions. About three onions. eight potatoes. This is lucky for three people or two people. Right. All right. So there's my chopped oh, onions. Oh yeah. Right. Pour it in. Roughly chopped. Everything needs to be roughly chopped because it's actually a rustic dish. It's for people years ago when they hadn't very much, they just go at home, chopped it up, everything. If you look up on YouTube now, you'll see all different ways of doing cuddle. Really, they're trying to make it more fancy. Cuddle isn't fancy, really. Right. But I hope this will taste really good. What I'm going to do, that's not normally your cuddle, I'm putting four cloves of garlic, chopped garlic, into it. Just give it a a little bit of flavour. Also, I've sprinkled parsley here, chopped parsley, fresh parsley. I'm going to give it a, a, a scoop to get a bush of that. Right? Then the next thing I'm going to do is, instead of just using water, where uh, a coddle years ago, people only had water, didn't have stock. But I'm actually going to use stock. I'm using a mixture of three cubes of chicken bouillon and one a hot pot of beef and this will give the flavor to cover your your stock because remember we're, we're not going to really thicken this so the potatoes itself should, should thicken it right so this is actually going to be served very very similar to the real cuddle that you'd have got back in the 18th century because it said it didn't have very much then so i'm pouring the, the water into the stock they're just cubes. It just gives that a little bit of extra flavour. <clears throat> Is it something like a stew, Pete? It is a stew. Right. But it's it's called the poor man's stew. Right. All right. But no, not 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 that was really the case back years ago. Yeah, my grandmother used to make yeah, it, Pete. People used so to that's it. have that much money. Yeah. You would always did this kind of dish. Yeah. But you see all the ways people don't cuddle now, and it's not really fair to the real cuddle yeah the people fry them off cook the sausages cook the rashers put them in a little bit kestrel make them make more fancier what i'm trying to do is make it give it a little bit more life but i'm not really going away from the recipe if you know what i mean right so this is my stock okay. i'm using right beef and chicken but normally in an old uh, original cuddle it'd be just plain water right See it. See it. All yeah. right. Don't get burnt. No, I won't. <laughs> are, you, are you oven? I'm so happy with the heat of it. Yeah, it is. I'm using it. That my looks heat. lovely. Me and bit of pepper now, right? Yeah. And that's it. I'm not putting salt oh, in. God. Why am I putting salt in? Why? Because the bacon has oh, salt. Oh yeah. But the thing is, if you want salt later, put it in yourself. You put it in yourself. Yeah. Right. So I'm gonna let you Very uh, put on onto the range. Right. I'm going to let this cook for, say, about 50 minutes. Right. I'm going to serve it with homemade brown bread. I got it in the larder shop in Bray. Okay. Uh, I ha I did have one up on YouTube, but I will put uh, homemade brown bread back up again. So this is really it. So I'm going to put the lid on there. I'm going to let it simmer. All right? Yeah. And that's this. Quick dish. So the cod has been cooking for about 45 minutes. 
So it smells lovely. Uh, I don't say it. I taste it. Taste of it. It's beautiful. It's a. Uh, it's really a traditional cuddle, but I just put a little bit of extra garlic in it to give it a kick, and I use stock instead of plain water. Otherwise, it's your original cuddle. And uh, why I love cuddle is such a traditional Dublin dish, and I love the Dublin people. When I said it was a poor dish, it was back in the 18th century, very poor. People couldn't afford it. So coddle, that's where coddle came from. It's not really a nourished dish as such. It's actually Dublin's coddle. Your grandmother cooked for you, Jackie, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah. So Every weekend we had it, and it was gorgeous uh, every weekend. Uh, first yeah. coddle I ever had, Gina cooked for me. Lovely. And that was lovely. See? So beautiful. That was 30 years ago. So I'm now making my cuddle. It's good for, for the, the foreign time. people to see it. Cuddle yeah. Irish cuddle yeah. now be made. It is. Yeah, for yeah. So this is my first time doing cuddle, Lovely. and uh, it's as Irish as you can get, right? So time to serve. Got my your cooker, everybody. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, so it's handy. Very nice. So we have we have bacon. See, we don't need, you don't need uh, to thicken this. This was, this is the glory of this dish, right? Look at that now, look at the colour, right? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to sprinkle a bit of parsley. Oh, lovely. That looks lovely in the brown bread and all. So Very that's nice. really it. I'll just zoom in there now on that. So that's your cuddle. Cuddle. And this is um, your typical... Dublin cuddle. The difference is that I did not stock, but I think it's going to taste beautiful. So, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, Very good. We're going to have it now, me and Jackie. We are lovely. You saw the brown bread. Lovely. Uh, I really serve a cuddle. So, thanks again. See you next time. Thanks, P. See you. Bye. Bye. Good luck.